Grade 6 Math, number 9.4, Integer Subtraction. We've been talking about adding integers, and now we're going to talk about subtracting them. I want you to remember from the previous videos what a zero pair is. It's when the numbers equal zero. If I have two and I take two away, that makes a zero pair. If I have a negative two and I add two to it, that's going to bring me to a zero, so they're a zero pair. See, if I have two, a positive two, so it would be like two green positive chips, and I take away two positive green chips, I have zero green positive chips. If I have two negative red chips, and I add two positive green chips, this one cancels this one out, and this one cancels this one out, the negative cancels out the other positive one, and it brings me back to zero, okay? So we're going to be using the chips to explain the integer subtraction in this video. If I'm at negative 4, which is right here on the number line, see here's 0, and I'm on the left side of the 0, I'm at negative 4, and I want to take away a negative 1, it's like having four negative red chips, and I'm taking one of the negative red chips away, so that takes me to negative 3. See, now I've only got three negative chips. Isn't that weird how that happens? So three negatives are going to do that. See how that happened? It pushed me up towards zero. If I have a negative seven, here's the zero, and I'm way over here on the number line at the negative seven, okay? And I take away negative five, it brings me to negative two. I'm taking away five negatives, and it's bringing me to a negative 2. It's bringing me closer to 0. So, we have 7 red negative chips, and I take away 5 negative chips. See, I'm taking away 5 negatives. That's going to leave me with only 2 negative chips. So we have negative chips, and we're taking away negative chips. Okay? All right, now let's look at this one. I have 7 positive chips. Okay? And I want to take away two negatives, but I don't have two negatives. I got seven positives. Well, this is where the zero pairs come in to, uh, into use, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to draw in zero pairs, two greens. For every green one I draw, I'm going to draw in a red one, okay? And I'm going to keep doing that until I can take enough red ones away. So I had to draw in two green ones to get two red ones, and I made the zero pairs. Now I can take away the two red ones, but it's leaving behind nine green ones. So a negative, uh, so a positive seven take away a negative two is a positive nine. All right, I want to show you that again. And here's the number line. We're at positive four. All right, here's the zero, and we're at positive four on the right side of the zero. We're going to take away a negative three, and it's going to bring me up to seven. All right. I've got four positive green chips right there. See them? And it says to take away three negative ones, but I don't have any negative ones. So what I have to do is draw a zero pair, and then draw another zero pair, and draw another zero pair until I've got three negative chips drawn. Now I can take away the three negatives, but it's leaving behind seven positive ones. Do you see that? Isn't that odd how that happens? Well, that's what happens with integers, okay? All right, so here's what we're doing. On a number line, we move left on the number line to subtract a positive integer, and we move right on the number line to subtract a negative integer. Try remembering that one. So they both say subtract, right? So all you have to remember is when you're subtracting integers and it's positive, go left, and when it's negative, go right, okay? All right, let's take a look at this one. We've got a negative 1, all right, here's 0, so we're at negative 1, and we're going to take away 5. And that's going to push us to a negative 6. See? Here's what happened. We drew z 0 pairs until we could take the 5 green positive ones away. We had a negative 1, and it wanted us to take away 5 positive ones. See? If that said take away negative, then it would have been written like this. See, it would have said take away a negative, but it doesn't. It just says take away, and then there's a 5. So you can almost look at it like this. 
if you get really confused and there's only one sign there, then put it inside of parentheses. If you see this, well, you know something's going on and that they need parentheses. See? So you can always add parentheses to help you look at it. So if you've got a negative 1 and we need to take away a 5, we can't. Here's our negative 1. So what we have to do is draw zero pairs. We drew one zero pair and another one and another one. Then we drew another one. And then we finally drew enough that we could take five away. But what did that leave behind? It left six negatives. See? And that's how we ended up with the negative six. Let's try it again. We've got negative five. All right, here's zero. And we're at negative five on the number line. And we're going to take away four. It's going to bring us to a negative nine. All right, we've got negative fives. So we've got five red chips, and it wants us to take away four green ones. All right? So we can do this to help our eyes understand what's happening. It wants us to take away four green ones, and we can't. So we draw a zero pair, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one, until we've got four green ones. So we take the four green ones away, but leaves behind nine red ones. See? So we've got nine negatives. All right. This is your kindergarten first grade uh, subtraction, what is happening. You've got a positive 4, all right? So we're on this side of the, here's 0. We're on this side of the number line, and we're taking away 3. So if we had 4 green ones, and we took 3 oh, green ones away, we got 1 green one, right? Okay, well, let's keep thinking that way. All right, so now we've got 4 green ones, and we need to take away 7 green ones, all right? Well, how do we take four green ones away, take seven green ones away when we've only got four? We draw zero pairs until we've got seven green ones to take away. See? So we ended up having to draw in three red ones. Now we take away our four our seven green ones and it leaves behind three red ones. See? We drew zero pairs until we could take away enough green positive chips. All right, let's try this one, all right? I hope the lighting is good enough for you here. We have 8 take away 14. So we have 8 green chips, and they want us to take away 14. Well, we need to draw 0 pairs until we've got 14 green chips that we could take away. See? So now we can take away 14 green chips. Take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And what does it leave behind? It leaves behind six red negative chips okay so that's all you have to do when just use the red and green chips use red and green dots okay if you need to use the number line use the number line if you want to use a diver and the water level you could do that if you want to dig the hole and build the hills and you can figure out how to do it that way do it that way i think the red and green chips are really useful though okay we're going to talk more about subtracting integers and the rules in the next video I hope to see you there. Keep trying. Keep up the good work. Bye.